Well, we've been warning drivers and the time is here. A section of Clays Mill Road will be closed for weeks between Stratford Drive and Pasadena Drive. And it's so crews can work on the final phase of the Clays Mill Road project. Grace Feinerman explains what city engineers hope that project will provide. A project that's been in the works since 2011 is in its final leg. I've literally been involved in this project from the genesis to the completion. Um, which is rare. Most most people don't get an opportunity to to see a project from its its beginning to its end. So for me, it's personal. Doug Burton, Lexington's director of engineering, says the section of Clay's Mill Road between Stratford Drive and Pasadena Drive is about to see some big improvements. It will widen from two lanes to three, have new curbs, gutters and sidewalks, a new stormwater collection system, and additional bike lanes. The project in general is to uh, increase uh, capacity and public safety for both cars, bikes, and pedestrians. All in all, the project will cost around $22 million. It relies heavily on national funding around 80% coming from the federal government, while a maximum of 20% will come from the city of Lexington. The section will be closed off until August 10th. Burton says the timing of the improvements is strategic, happening over the summer with less traffic to and from schools. Once completed, about four miles of roadway will be improved. Looking ahead, the final phase from Waco to Harrodsburg Road is expected to be finished by December of 2022. In Lexington, Grace Feinerman for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Again, that closure runs until August 10th. Traffic will be detoured onto Harrodsburg Road via Lane Allen and Pasadena.